Hey guys, CJ Hudson Pillar here with Taco Bot. <clears throat> Today I'm going to show you a super simple way uh, to correct a problem that a lot of bot builders have. Um, the there's nothing worse than when we build out a, a bot and we we have an ad and we pushed traffic or we've paid to push traffic into our bot and users don't convert or complete. Um, the sequence of things that we would like them to. So example might be is you're trying to get their email address and phone number or something to that that nature, and the user hit bails in between there. Well, now with the new broadcasting rules, we can't just broadcast out to these people after 24 hours without having to pay for additional um, you know additional traffic to our bot. So there's a simple, easy way that we can kind of nudge people back into the bot, and I'm going to show you guys an example of that today. So we've got Taco Bot pulled up here, and I'm going to show you a quick little uh, example here, and we're going to use this follow-up example grouping down here. And essentially, the point that this is trying to do is we're trying to get the person's favorite color, okay, and then their favorite food, and then the last block just simply tells them, hey, th thank you for uh, great, you're all set. We've got all the info. So our goal is to push them through both of these blocks and get them here. The problem is, is that a lot of people will get to the first block or get to the second block, and they never complete and get to this point. So I'm going to show you a quick little way that we can do that. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a follow-up sequence. So we're going to go down here to add, and we're just going to type sequence. And then we'll just name this just for fun, uh, just uh, follow-up. I don't think I have one named that. No, I don't. Okay, perfect. Uh, and then in here, we're going to go and uh, cr set the time. And just for this example, we're going to set the time to be like, um, you know, maybe two, three, four minutes. Uh, or in real life, you would set it for two, three, four minutes. In this example, we're just going to do it for a few seconds. That way, uh, we can test to make sure that everything is working properly. Um, but what we're going to do is... Uh, now that we have our sequence created, before we start building out these follow-up blocks, what we're going to do is we're going to jump back over to our different blocks, and we're actually going to add user attributes. Okay, So we're going to go up here to add, and we're going to hit more, and then set user attribute. And what we're going to do is we're going to type in progress, Okay, and then we're going to type 1. Now, keep in mind that when a user lands on this block, that means they move from top to bottom, right? So essentially what the bot is doing is they start here, it's setting this attribute, and then it's asking this next question. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the next block, and we're going to do the same thing, except we are going to say progress, and we're going to name it 2, just like that. And then on 3, instead of doing progress 3, we're going to go up here and we're going to add another one. And we're going to go to more, and we're just going to unsubscribe from sequence, and it's going to be this follow-up sequence. Okay? So, in theory here, so what happens is, is there's subscribe. Oh, see, we forgot. Let's go in here, too. We're going to, on the first, first block at the very top, we're also going to go and hit more, and we're going to subscribe to sequence, and that is follow-up. Perfect. So they've been subscribed to the sequence here, and we've tagged them with an attribute. Uh, as soon as they get pushed into the bot, then it's going to go to two, and then they're going to get tagged again. I realize I didn't save that attribute. There we go. Uh, and then they're going to go to three, and then it's going to unsubscribe them. Great. So now what we need to do is we need to create our follow-up message. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go here, and you can set up this however you'd like to, but I like to just give them a little bit of text and I'll say something to the effect of, hey, um, we were almost finished. Would you like to continue? Right? And then we're going to give them the option of yes or no. Or you could say continue, not continue, whatever. Um, so from here, we need to give them two options. So... The first thing, the next thing that we need to do is we need to get a block that is prepared if they say no. Okay, so we're going to go create another block, um, and we'll call this one EX3, all right, EX4, I guess. And all we're going to do on this one is we're just going to put an unsubscribe from sequence and put the follow up. So essentially, when this follow up triggers, uh, if they type no, it's going to send them to block EX4 which is just going to unsubscribe them from the sequence. Now, 
if they say yes, um, we're going to have it just allow the, the bot to continue down this block, and we're going to add some redirect blocks. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a redirect block, but then we're going to pick specific users. So what we're going to do is attribute progress, right, is one. We send them to EX1, right? And then if not, the next one would be redirect, and you can go to uh, progress. If their progress is equal to two, send them back to uh, EX2. And so on and so on and so on, right? So essentially then, they're, after 15 seconds of them not answering this message, they're going to get this follow-up that if they click yes, it's going to push them into redirect them based off their attributes. If they push no, it's going to unsubscribe them from the sequence and they won't get any further follow-up. Now, it's important to note that you can continue following up with the sequence. Keep in mind, though, that you can't go more than 24 hours outside of their last time that they messaged with you. Um, so what I typically like to do is I like to do one maybe like four or five minutes uh, after their last engagement and then somewhere around the 20 to 25 minute mark if they don't follow back up with that. Uh, and then I skip to like 22 hours because what you want to be cognizant of is if you wait 10 hours, that might be the middle of the night for them. And we're trying to create good user experiences here because if you're annoying, they're never going to complete this and they're just going to ignore you. So uh, that's kind of the theory. So if we go and we test this, um, let's go ahead and uh, we'll click our link here and we'll test this out. So... The bot has asked me, what's my favorite color? We're going to say blue. What's your favorite food? Uh, we'll say pizza. And then it should tell us we're all set. That's fantastic. Now, that's, that's what we hope that the user does. But what happens if they don't and they stop? Well, if we've done this correctly, they should get a follow-up message from us. So let's try this again. We're going to get our first message. Um, what is your favorite color? I'm going to say blue. And then when it asks me the next question, I'm going to stop. So what's going to happen here is 15 seconds after this, I should get a follow-up message pushing me back into the sequence. See? Hey, we're almost finished. Would you like to continue? If I put no, it's going to unsubscribe me from the sequence. If I click yes, it's going to pop back up and ask me again what my favorite food is, which is what I wanted to accomplish with the bot. Um, and pushes me through to get it all done. So that's an easy way to make a follow-up sequence.